7, I'm Katie Anderson. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. My favorite was the picture of Millie with like the hospital cap on and the mask and everything. Oh, it's great. Such a cute story there. It is. And if Millie was going outside tonight, she would need to pack her snow boots <laughs> and her... Do they make winter jackets for dogs? Or they do. Like do. I had a, a small dog, a miniature pincher, a mischief. I used to always wear a winter coat. And oh. Sometimes would have to wear the booties on his feet. <laughs> only because not only was it cold, but the, the salt was in it. not salt. So yeah. Like it so much. Tonight is one of those nights that the salt is out there. Whether you're putting it down on your driveway, on the sidewalk, or you have the ODOT crew coming through and putting the salt down. We actually have a live camera shot outside in Xenia where we did see an ODOT crew just coming through a few moments ago. I saw the plow there putting down the salt and treating those roads for us tonight. Fortunately, typical road salt that the crews put out there work with temperatures as cold as they are right now. Once you start to see temperatures 15 degrees or colder, that's when the salt really becomes ineffective. So they should do a good job tonight. Taking a look at those streets, uh, Main Street there in particular, you can see snow covered, especially in the center lane and on the medians. So that will be a similar scene no matter where you are across the Miami Valley. If the snow fell there, you are dealing with some icy and snow covered streets and roadways. My Doppler 7 radar, snow showers are primarily in the eastern Miami May Valley. Take you up into Champaign County. You can see near Urbana and Mechanicsburg. Some light snow there. Even as far north as Bell Fountain, just to the east of Russell's Point and Indian Lake. In Clark County and Springfield and down through Green County in Xenia where we did just have that live camera shot. Some light snow fall there and in Clinton County as well. Over the past few hours, we've watched the back edge of this snow slowly drifting to the east. So areas east of 75 will have a little bit more snow total coverage than off to the west and generally about a half an inch to an inch of snow is what many of us are dealing with. Look at our road sensors, a lot of red here indicating those icy spots really no matter where you are in the Miami Valley. So again, tonight, early tomorrow morning around daybreak edition, still dealing with those slippery roads. Those back roadways, those state routes, be on the lookout for that, especially if they're near wide open spaces. That breeze is going to blow that snow right back on the road. Tomorrow we'll have mainly wet conditions. As the sun comes back out, we'll watch for refreeze again tomorrow night. Futurecast shows those snow showers exiting. Tomorrow we will have some sunshine that breaks through the clouds. A little improvement there visually, but it's going to be a cold day. Highs only up to about 28 degrees tomorrow afternoon with wind chills in the teens as we keep the breeze. 30 degrees for us on Wednesday. We'll have sunshine once again. Again, then clouds return as our next system comes in on Thursday. It'll bring us a chance for some rain showers later in the day and then switching to snow showers into Thursday night. So here's future cast. Thursday afternoon, some spotty showers move in. We'll see those showers into the first part of Thursday night. By daybreak on Friday, though, we're changing that over to some light snow as temperatures drop below freezing. It'll be brief. Could see some slick spots there, but the snow showers will be out of here, and Friday will turn out to be a dry day with gradually clearing skies. But look what happens on Saturday. This is a bigger weather maker for us. We're mainly dry Saturday. Looks as though as we get into Saturday night, snow showers move in. All snow with this system, not dealing with any of that battleground of freezing rain and sleet and snow. It looks to be primarily snow because of how cold it's expected to get. Take a look at these temperatures. Molly, I know you're not going to like these. The average high this time of year should be 36 degrees. Saturday's high 31. Your high on Sunday 16 will fall below zero for your low on Monday morning with a high of 12. Wind chills likely throughout this 24 to 48 time frame will be below zero. So it's going to be uh, Wisconsin weather, something no. you're familiar with <laughs> a no. few years ago. I left Wisconsin. I know it, I know it. So let's enjoy, I guess, the closer to average temperatures before that system gets here. Again, we'll have that chance for snow Saturday night into Sunday. I, I, do we get a do-over <laughs> for that forecast? I know. Well, I didn't want to put the Sunday one up there yet. I, I, we'll leave it at Saturday for it now. Just, when it gets back cold, like, it, it hurts. It hurts. It does hurt. <laughs> Well, if you haven't downloaded our free WHIO weather app, be sure to do so so you can track those falling temperatures and also check out the live Doppler 7 radar so you can track your forecast alongside our team of Storm Center 7 meteorologists. To download it, just search WHIO weather in your app store. The state's largest electric company, 